Hello, welcome to Thor Talk, the show all about Marvel's resident god of thunder, where I discuss Thor feats, battles, story arcs, villains, and more. On this episode of Thor Talk, we look at how Ragnarok happened in the comics as Thor Ragnarok is out and it is loosely based off of this storyline. All this and more on Thor Talk. I am Thor the Thunderer, son of Odin, prince of Asgard. I am an Avenger, and this world is under my protection. <laughs> Whoever holds this hammer, if it be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. Thor Ragnarok is a six-part story that took place in Thor Volume 2, Issues 80-85, to written by Michael Avon Oming. Surtur has spent months forging Uru weapons, and now Loki and his allies armed with these Uru weapons attack Thor, who is currently king of Asgard. These Uru weapons are not quite as powerful as Mjolnir, but they are certainly close in power. Four Uru weapons clash with Thor's own Uru mallet, causing an explosion that knocks all but Thor unconscious. But Thor recovers to find that Mjolnir has been destroyed by the blast. Loki takes advantage of this and uses his own Uru hammer to blast Thor into the sea. In the sea, Thor decides to go get help and transports himself to Earth where he finds his fellow Avengers Iron Man and Captain America. The three Avengers go back to Asgard only to find that it has been ravaged by Loki and his forces. They find that Baldur has been killed in battle. Baldur's death is the first sign of Ragnarok, the end of all things. Thor realizes that this may not be something that his friends can walk away from, and knowing that it is not their fight, Thor transports Iron Man and Captain America back to Earth. Then Thor, King of Asgard, rallies his people to fight back. They go from realm to realm, stopping Loki's forces and mourning their lost friends. In Vanaheim, they find the Vanir have teamed up with the Valkyrior in a battle against Loki's forces. Valkyrie tries to rally the troops, but is shot and killed by Durok the Demolisher. Thor joins the fray and kills Durok with a powerful blast. Then, Beta Ray Bill arrives and proceeds to beat Fenris to death, and Loki's remaining forces flee out of terror. Thor leaves his people with Beta Ray Bill in charge and goes to Hildestaf to gain knowledge. Thor thinks on his troubles for a while, but is unsure on what to do. Then, he is visited by a spirit that resembles a boy. Thor realizes that the boy is actually the Odin Force taking human form. The Odin Force tells him that he will need wisdom, so they go to the well of Mimir, where Odin sacrificed his own eye to gain wisdom. Then, realizing that the well will not give him wisdom without a sacrifice, Thor rips out his own right eye and tosses it into the well. The Odin Force tells Thor that the sacrifice of one eye has already been made by Odin. To gain wisdom, he must go further. So Thor rips out his other eye and tosses it into the well. This time, the well lets him drink, and with that drink, Thor gains knowledge. Thor realizes that Ragnarok is a cycle that has happened many times before. In Ragnarok, the gods are killed and then reborn, killed and reborn killed and reborn. The Odin Force gives Thor Odin's ravens who will act as his sight and then tells him that he must seek the knowledge of the runes to know what to do next. To do this they go to the roots of Yggdrasil where Odin hung himself to the brink of death. The Odin Force says that he must go further so Thor hangs himself until he dies and he finds himself in Hela's realm where she comes to claim his soul. However, Thor's hanging has allowed him to gain knowledge of the runes, and he uses this to summon the spirit of Odin, who takes him back to his body. Thor wakes up to find himself before the gods, known as those who sit above in shadow. These gods are responsible for Ragnarok. They feed off of the Asgardians dying and being reborn over and over again. The Asgardians are essentially their slaves as they must keep on dying and being reborn to feed these ancient gods. Thor tells them 
that this is going to end, as his own time on earth has made him unpredictable to those who sit above in shadow. Thor leaves them and goes to Asgard, which Loki has rebuilt in his own image. Thor's journey for runes and knowledge has led him to become what is known as Rune King Thor, the most powerful version of Thor ever seen in the comics. This power is now tested as Mangog charges Thor. Thor uses a spell from the runes to destroy Mangog without lifting a finger. Loki sends his army after Thor, but Thor obliterates them all with a hand motion. Thor allows Loki to survive, but only as a severed head. Thor says that he knows how to end the cycle of death and rebirth that those who sit above in shadow feed off of. Only death can save us now, Thor informs Loki, and I shall bring it. Ragnarok shall be brought about by my own hand. Thor then goes to meet Surtur and tells him that he has not come to fight, but to bargain. He tells Surtur to fix Mjolnir, and in exchange, Thor will give him a path to where the rest of the Asgardians are. Loki calls Thor mad, but Thor tells him that to free the Asgardians from being slaves, one final battle must happen. Surtur reforges Mjolnir, and Thor gives him a path to their base. Surtur arrives, and the final battle begins. Beta Bill fights alongside the Asgardians, but Thor transports him away, saying that this is not his fight to die in. As Ragnarok approaches, Thor goes to the Norns, who weave the tapestry of fate, including the Ragnarok cycle. Thor says that he cannot destroy the tapestry of what has already happened, but there is a single thread that connects the past with the future. This thread represents the continuing cycle of Ragnarok. With his restored hammer, Thor prepares to destroy the thread, but those who sit above in shadow appear before him saying that he has gained their respect and they will allow him to join them as gods to gods. Thor calls them children who apologize to avoid being punished. Their respect means little to him. He now comes as their doom. They are powerless to stop Thor who destroys the thread. Everything is destroyed as well. Ragnarok has happened. But the cycle is over. After millions of years, the Asgardians are finally free. Only Thor remains. And now, he decides to sleep. The slumber of gods. For a time. So there's Ragnarok. It actually happened. Obviously, they didn't stay dead forever, but this kept Thor out of the comics for three years, which caused him to miss Avengers Disassembled, House of M, Planet Hulk, and even Civil War. When he returned, Thor was significantly less powerful as he somehow lost the knowledge of the runes, but it's probably for the best as it would make world-ending threats a lot easier to stop and comics a lot shorter. Well, that's all for this episode of Thor Talk. If you want to keep up with Thor Talk and all Thor-related news, follow Thor Talk on Instagram at Thor Talk. You can also keep up with and support Thor Talk by simply subscribing. Once again, I'd like to formally state that all art and video is owned by its respected companies, and I own none of it. With that said, see you next time on Thor Talk, where... You behold in breathless wonder.